So now it's basically started up. I got all the modes I can do. I can say go home, land. If I press land in the top or here, the drone will land precisely where it's hovering. Auto will be also for the waypoints that I've created. I can do it here or auto here. Follow me mode. If you look at the drone, that's follow me mode just there. When I press it, it's facing me. And I press it. You'll see that the drone is there. I'm going to walk under it. And it's now by me. Close by. So I do not have control. Even throttle up and down, but I've got your. So I'm going to just your. You'll see it will come back and face me. I'm going to walk under it. And you'll actually see that it will come back and try to face me. And I'll do a little bit of a run or walk. Cancel the mode, press down and up, and I will have control again. So, if I want to change the height and put a um, follow me mode, it will stay on that height. So, before you do follow me mode, it will be there. Just a warn caution this one doesn't have any sensors for avoidance. So, wherever it is, that height it will follow. Do not go through trees and stuff and think it's very similar to the DJI. This is only like an open place. So that's a little bit fun. Getting exercise, as you can see. <laughs> so also, I'm going to just show you. If I had it over in the sea, I did a, a mission. I'll go forward. Just there, so... Let's say for argument, we about like 200 meters in the sea. But at a waypoint, I came back. And I did the mission. And it's going to drop where I wanted to drop. Definitely I do have not control. But if I go to the top here, and I go and I put land in, they'll say yes. You'll see it lands there. If you need to cancel, just push up. And then that's one of the safeties. You can then fly it up. So whenever you accidentally did that, you are landing in the sea. So it is going to get water. It is going to go down and you will think it's falling. Matter of fact, it is not. So that's why I say, do not play there. But I'm doing an RTL. This is also one way to cancel the low battery. So now I got it on the with a low battery fail safe that's been kicked in or signal loss in the radio. If you had the power still on, you can cancel that or by just doing the normal loiter to auto and back for cancel, uh, cancelling. But I'm going to show you how I actually can do it on a stick too. I'm doing an RTL, return to launch. Mode return to launch. There you go. We'll climb up. We'll come back. No control. And we'll come back with its nose inwards towards us. Come to the point where it's actually landing. The first states of descending will come a bit faster. I have to cancel now, without doing it there, push the throttle up, more loiter, so now it's been cancelled, and I can land it. So if you are at any point where you're actually flying forward, and that's the RTL, to launch. 
we'll test it here and see if it will go then up. See, it's still in a fail safe. I'm pushing up, it's nothing. That only gets engaged when it's actually coming down and landing. That's why you do not have any control, proper control. When it comes back, gets its position. What I will do is I will cancel this landing at about a meter and a half from the ground. Cancel and throw it down on that one itself and just makes it. And so you can see it's hovering very good. And by the way, this is one of the clients with the uh, Ganner Pro. That's one of the first Ganner Pros we actually now converted from NASA over to uh, the Pixel that we have sorted him out and he's getting a brand new craft with uh, all the fire safety features, low battery and all that. So this is what it looks, that a pro can also be done for the possibility to get your drone uh, set up with a pixel, it's not a problem anymore and we will be able to do that. And you can find out by the office more what uh, is all that you have to do to get that done.